In this video, we are going to capture data from our first setup. We will learn about the layout of Field 360 on the tablet, start data capture using Field 360 on the tablet, verify the completed setup, and then move the scanner to the next location with the Viz technology active. We have already connected the tablet to the scanner and created a new job to work with. Once we select the job to work with, we are taken into the main map screen. Let's take a moment to explore the layout here. Across the top we have the different view options. On the right hand side we have our explorer bar where we can look at more information on any bundles, setups or tags we have. We will look into these in more detail later. With this slider bar we can control how we view the data. For example by adjusting the scan pixel size or image exposure depending which view we are in. Along the bottom are our three main task buttons, Scan, Tag and Link. These are the key buttons for the Reality Capture workflow. For our first setup we will go straight in and go to Scan. The Scanner control screen opens up. Let's have a look at what we can do here. We can give the setup a name to help identify setups later in the office. For this task we will leave the default suggestion of setup 001. Here we see the estimated time for data capture, based on the current settings. These four buttons are our basic settings. First we can select between three resolution levels. We will select a medium resolution scan. This button toggles whether the HDR imagery shall be captured or there shall be no imagery at all. We will switch this on. This button toggles whether a double scan shall be made. This can be used later to help remove ghosting or noise caused by moving people or vehicles for example. We will leave this off. And this button toggles whether the viz shall be on or off. In most circumstances it would be left on, however it may want to be switched off to save on battery power for example. We will leave this on. Now we have everything set, we are ready to capture from our first setup. We simply press the start button and the scanner will begin operation. The LED of the scanner starts flashing orange to indicate it is collecting data. First, the scan points will be collected. The scanner only needs to turn through 180 degrees as points are collected on both sides. Secondly, the images are captured using the three HDR cameras. For this, the scanner turns through 360 degrees, stopping at 12 different locations. Back on the tablet, we see the scanner's progress with the progress bar. We could cancel the data capture here if needed. Once data capture is finished, a message indicates that the setup is complete, and we have some shortcut buttons to take us straight to the selected view with the last setup highlighted. However, right now, we will just close this message. A preview of the data is being transferred from the scanner to the tablet. We see that the data is synchronizing when this icon is busy. After a few seconds, the scan data will appear in the map view. The circular red icon indicates the setup position, and we can select the setup by tapping on it. The blue control wheel appears, allowing us to position and orientate the setup. Let's see how this works. If we tap the setup icon and hold, we can drag to move the setup freely around and position it wherever we like. We can also drag the arrows to move the setup along one axis only. We will position the setup away from the zero zero position so that if any other setups appear here later, it will be easier to see them. If we drag around the circle, we control the orientation of the setup. For visualization purposes, we will rotate the data around so that it is lined up with the screen. Now we are finished with our first setup, we can move the scanner to our second setup. Let's have a look at moving the scanner whilst the viz is active. The scanner is designed to be carried on the tripod. It can be carried over one shoulder or by just holding the upper part of the tripod legs. Simply grab the tripod legs, lift the scanner over your shoulder and walk to the next setup location.